Hi, I'm Patrick McGuire with Empowered Nutrition, and I want to share with you the 10 foods that fight cancer and win. Hey, you can't eat your pudding if you don't eat your vegetables, as made famous by that song from Pink Floyd. This statement rings true in my household almost every single day. Yeah, I'm the first to admit I have a killer sweet tooth, and my kids are definitely from my genetic makeup. My DNA is slightly mutated, to say the least. I love sweets, primarily chocolate and ice cream. And that genetic thing I mentioned, well, I have never had freeze brain before in my life, and I used to eat ice cream by the bucket. Literally before my wife and I got married, we were watching a movie at my dad's with dad, and I asked if my wife wanted ice cream. Then from the next room I yelled, did you want a bowl or a spoon? Whoops. (laughs) She said spoon, and my dad yelled, you better marry that girl, she's a keeper. I did. Now my son eats ice cream by the fistful, and at two years old he takes bigger mouthfuls than I do, and we are waiting the dreaded freeze brain. How is this relevant and what does this have to do with the song from Pink Floyd? Well, the simple fact is that we eat a lot of veggies in our house and no one, not even dad, gets a treat or dessert until the veggies are gone. Also, because we, me and my profession and my family, are of the anti-cancer society and numerous studies following large groups of people eating more vegetables and fruits have been linked to a lower risk of lung, oral, osphagal, stomach and colon cancer. The thinking behind these results points to antioxidants and phytochemicals, natural compounds found in plants. Let's figure this out. What are antioxidants? The American Cancer Society explains it like this. The body seems to use certain nutrients in vegetables and fruits to protect against damage to tissues that happens constantly as a result of normal metabolism, oxidation. Because such damage is linked with the increased cancer risk, the antioxidant nutrients are thought to protect against cancer. Antioxidants include vitamin C, vitamin E, carotenoids, and many other phytochemicals. These are beneficial plant compounds. Alright, let's stop the lab coat geek speak for a minute. It's really a no-brainer. When you eat real food, you stay healthier. So now you've got a bunch of government programs telling you to eat your five to nine servings of fruit and vegetables per day, and you've got mom standing behind you telling you to do the same. And finally, you got me harassing you to eat your veggies and cancer-fighting foods as well. Here, I am going to give you a few plant-based suggestions to help you fight more cancer, and just might be easier to enjoy. Here are 10 kick-butt cancer-fighting foods you will enjoy. These 10 were chosen for their seriously butt-kicking cancer powers, as described on the site for the Stanford School of Medicine Health Improvement Program. Number one is beans. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. I don't need to say anything else, do I? But beans do contain a number of phytochemicals, which have been shown to prevent or slow genetic damage to cells. While this makes beans beneficial for helping to reduce your risk of many types of cancer, specific research has suggested that they are especially potent in preventing prostate cancer. As an added bonus, the high fiber content of beans has been connected with lower risk of digestive cancers. Number two, berries. The two most widely studied cancer-fighting compounds in berries are elagic acid, richest in strawberries and raspberries, and anthocyanocytes, richest in blueberries. Elagic acid is believed to help prevent skin, bladder, lung, and breast cancers, both by acting as an antioxidant and by slowing the reproduction of cancer cells. The anthocyanocytes in blueberries are currently the most powerful antioxidants known to scientists and are beneficial in preventing all types of cancers. Number three is cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and kale are rich in a variety of compounds that have been shown to slow cancer growth and development in a number of laboratory studies. 
Other larger human studies have shown that cruciferous vegetables can help to reduce the risk of lung, stomach, colorectal, prostate, and cancer, bladder cancers. Dark green leafy vegetables are number four. And these leafy green vegetables like romaine lettuce, mustard greens, chicory, and Swiss chard are rich sources of antioxidants called carotenoids. These compounds scavenge dangerous free radicals from the body before they can promote cancer growth. The vegetables are also rich in folate, a vitamin shown to reduce the risk of lung and breast cancer. Number five and halfway there is flaxseed. Flaxseed in the form of oil and meal contains phytoestrogens believed to reduce the risk of breast, skin, and lung cancer. Research on the potency of flaxseed as an anti-cancer food is still underway, but you will get an added benefit with this one using the meal will give you an additional boost of fiber to help you along your day. Garlic, including your onions, scallions, leeks, and chives, are all of the same family. Garlic contains a number of compounds believed to slow or stop the growth of tumors. One such compound, diallyl disulfide, appears to be especially potent in protecting against skin, colon, and lung cancer, though it is not known exactly how it functions. What we do know is it works. Number seven is grapes, and grapes and wine contain a chemical called resveratrol which has been shown to be a potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent. Resveratrol is thought to work by preventing cell damage before it begins. Red and purple grapes are the richest sources of resveratrol. Coming up on number eight, green tea, either decaf or not. Green tea is a rich source of a class of flavonoids known as catechins. Laboratory studies have shown that the catechins present in green tea are able to slow or prevent the development of cancer in the colon, liver, breast, and prostate cells. Number nine is tomatoes. The anti-cancer compound in tomatoes, lycopene, has been shown to be especially potent in combating prostate cancer. Now guys, here comes a tip for you. This compound appears to be more easily absorbed if the tomatoes are eaten in cooked form, either as tomato sauce, paste, or juice. And guys, that does include ketchup because we all know that we like to take our tomatoes in that form. In addition to preventing prostate cancer, lycopene may also protect against breast, lung, stomach, and pancreatic cancer. Number 10, closing up the bunch, is whole grains. Whole grains contain a variety of anti-cancer compounds, including fiber, antioxidants, and phytoestrogens. When eaten as a part of a balanced diet, whole grains can help decrease the risk of developing most types of cancer. That is it for the 10 foods that fight cancer and win. And these 10 foods can quickly and easily be included into your diet and incorporated. You may even have most of these sitting in your cupboards today, waiting to jump out with their capes on and fight cancer like a superhero. I'm Patrick McGuire with Empower Nutrition, and if you're looking to increase your powerful proven results, I recommend a personalized nutrition program or meal plan that is high in these 10 cancer-fighting foods. Hopefully that's helped you sort the junk from the junk science and I help you accomplish all your fat loss, your vital health, and your transformation success story needs with Empowered Nutrition. Have yourself a fantastic day.